In this video, we're going to take a look at solving equations that have fractions in them. Quite often, fractions become difficult to work with, and so we'll find it's easier to clear the fractions by multiplying each term by the least common denominator. It's important to remember as we do this that we multiply everything by this least common denominator, including any integers. Because in, even though it doesn't look like a fraction, we can always put it over 1. When we do so, it becomes a fraction. So let's look at how we can clear fractions out of an equation by multiplying each term on both sides by the least common denominator. In this problem, you'll notice we have denominators 4, 2, and 6. The least common denominator of those three numbers is 12. So we will multiply each fraction by 12 each term by 12. As we do, those 12's will reduce with each of those denominators. 12 over 4 reduces to 3. 12 over 2 reduces to 6. And 12 over 6 reduces to 2. Now, all that remains are these little multiplication problems in the numerators. 3 times 3x is 9x. Minus 6 times 1 is 6, equals 5 times 2, which is 10. Notice, now we have a two-step equation, which we can quickly solve. First, by adding and subtracting, moving away from x, we add 6 to both sides. Now, we have 9x equals 16. Finally, to get x alone, we divide both sides by 9, and x is equal to the fraction 16 over 9. Let's try another example that might be a little more involved that we can solve by clearing the denominator. Here, you notice we have the negative 4, which is not a fraction. We can quickly make it a fraction by putting it over 1. Now, we can find the least common denominator of 5, 10, and 15. This will be 30. So we will multiply each term by 30, all the way across. Again, these 30's will divide out with the denominators. 30 over 5 is 6. 30 over 10 is 3. 30 over 15 is 2. So now all that remains is 6 times 3x, or 18x, minus 3 times 7, which is 21, equals 30 times negative 4, which is negative 120, plus 2 times 7x, which is 14x. We can solve this equation just like before now. Get the variable on one side by moving the smaller one, subtracting 14x from both sides. 4x minus 21 equals negative 120. Now, add 21 to both sides, and 4x equals negative 99. Dividing both sides by 4, we'll leave our x alone. x is equal to the fraction, negative 99 fourths. With fractions, we can clear out the denominators by multiplying everything by the LCD and reducing out the denominators.